What is immunotherapy? Your doctor has recommended a type of cancer treatment known as immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is used to treat many different types of cancer. You've probably heard of chemotherapy before, and initially, it might seem quite similar, as both medicines are delivered through your veins. However, in reality, immunotherapy works in a completely different way. Chemotherapy uses drugs that stop cancer cells from growing and making new cells. On the other hand, immunotherapy uses your body's own natural defenses to fight cancer cells. Let's find out how this works. First, what is your immune system? Your immune system is your body's natural defense system. It is a busy network of cells and organs inside your body that work together to protect you from bacteria, viruses, and other germs that you don't want hanging around in your body. It is also always on the lookout for cancer cells. When it finds any cancer cells in your body, it is able to recognize and destroy them in a number of clever ways. Your immune system is very powerful and therefore needs to be carefully controlled. To do this, immune cells and healthy cells work together through the use of special markers called checkpoints. Checkpoints can help your immune system tell which cells are good, your healthy body cells, and which ones are bad, like cancer cells. They also ensure that the immune system's response isn't too strong. Otherwise, your healthy cells could get damaged by mistake. Unfortunately, some cancer cells are smart and can use these same checkpoints to their own advantage. This allows cancer cells to hide from your immune system and avoid being destroyed. So, how does immunotherapy help? There are several types of immunotherapy, and each works a bit differently. One common type works by blocking these checkpoints that allow cancer cells to hide from your immune system. This allows your immune system to work once again without being held back by the checkpoints so that it can detect and destroy these cancer cells. Unfortunately, in some cases, this may cause your immune system to damage your healthy cells by mistake, which can potentially lead to side effects in different parts of your body. Let's find out what some of these common symptoms and side effects you may experience are. Since immunotherapy works in a completely different way to chemotherapy, these side effects may be quite different. Also, keep in mind that side effects can occur at any time during or after your treatment, and as everyone is different, not all patients will have the same symptoms. So, let's talk about a few of the more common side effects that some people experience. To start, immunotherapy may affect some patients' lungs. In these cases, they may have fever, shortness of breath, chest pain, or a cough that keeps getting worse and worse. Other patients may have intestinal problems, such as stomach cramps, diarrhea, or nausea and vomiting. Some might find blood or mucus in their poo. Symptoms on the skin may also be seen. Things like rash, itching or blistering, or sometimes mouth sores. Immunotherapy may also have an effect on a patient's hormones, which can cause unexpected changes in behavior, being really irritable or tired all the time, dizziness or fainting, feeling hot or cold, or changes in vision. Others might notice sudden weight changes, constipation, or unusual headaches that last for a long time. The liver may also be affected, making patients feel like throwing up or causing belly pain. This can also cause fever, yellowing of the eyes, and a few of the other symptoms we've mentioned. If the kidneys are involved, patients may have back pain and swelling of their face or legs. They may also notice that their pee is much darker than usual, or that they're peeing more frequently. Almost all of the symptoms we've talked about 
may be treated with steroids or hormone replacement. That's why it's really important that you talk to your doctor or nurse immediately. If you start to feel unwell during or after your treatment, and let them know that you have been on immunotherapy. If symptoms are caught early, it can prevent them from becoming severe and causing your treatment to be stopped. Good communication and early action will give your immunotherapy its best chance to succeed. Thank you for watching.